I still got the same yeah, number. Yeah, righteous. I think I've got a next lift from the Central Drive. Guys, if you're on Central Drive and you want some meat, come to Spice Land. Come to Spice Land. Spice Land is back again. Okay, guys. Spice Land, my man is back. Spice Land <laughs> has been on, but this is our guy. This is the reason why we come here because he's a guy, he's the main man. Islam is the main man. 074548. I've known him for years now. Eight. Yeah, just give a missed call and you can. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah Omar, I've got yeah, your number. Yeah, cool. Same I number. Got, yeah, thank you, man. So, guys, I think, uh, let me just hold this for a minute. Islam, hold this. Like, yeah. Let me just pack up and then pay. No, don't take me out, oh, bro. Oh. Not yet. <laughs> I'm not lying. I've got wet at that. <laughs> Islam is pointing the camera on me. <laughs> so, guys, it's actually wet. How much is Islam? No, 22 for you. Yeah? Okay. You put everything out? Yes. All right, cool, cool, cool. So let me pay for this and then we'll show you guys the end of Central Drive and then we call it what's your name my brother John huh John John yeah. John nice to meet you bro nice to meet you. so you're gonna go and check your channel as, as well later yeah, yeah African, uh, world African world traveler, traveler. that's yeah. it yeah done yeah yes, so we yeah. paid for it we're free to go yeah it's love thank you bro yeah have a good one bro see you soon okay John see you in a bit thank you man so guys we all done here now so Let's zip up and then head our way out. Okay. Guys, I always go with my my rucksack. You never know, you know. When I go out with my rucksack, you never know I'll be getting stuff on the street, on the road. So guys, here we are. We're just coming out for Spice Land. Spice Land is back again. Guys, it's raining, man. It's chucking it down now. So it's kids playground here. I'm not gonna take them because the kids playing. So central drive. It's wet. Rainy, 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 rainy. That's our typical UK weather, guys. That's our weather. It is what it is. So you see, guys, nice cars everywhere. It's a nice range. Nice, nice range. So here we are. Guys, this is a form of telling you we're in central drive you see the tower look at the tower guys it's amazing like every corner you go like i told you before every corner you go you can see the tower you can spot the tower miles away see the tower there look at it it's amazing isn't it it's one of the best thing about blackpool you know the tower the sea for me is the sea you know for me is the beach for me is the beach is that the barbers here how are you doing there's a lot of barbers here there's the barbers there there's barbers here well you know what i mean uh, about these barbers and stuff like uh, they all they all like families i used to come here for my groceries i used to come here shopping here but the uh, the sub assistant was rude to me was actually rude to me so basically i'll tell you what happened so i was like i woke up just specially to come and do my shopping here i came all the way at this end to do my shopping and i was queuing right i was in the queue waiting patiently and there's a lady that came it's an asian looking lady no don't get me wrong I'm, i don't discriminate she came and she spoke their language so guy just jumped me and then went serving the lady without asking me is it all right to serve this lady you know what does he do he just jumped and then started serving the lady and ignored me not like asking me oh is it okay like the lady is in the rust or the lady this and that i would say fine 
Well, he just ignored me, like, it's nobody there. Like, I was nobody, so I was pissed off. And I actually told him what he's done is wrong. But he was, like, being rude and being arrogant. He said, oh, get out of the shop, get out of the shop. I said, no, I'm not getting out anyway. Not like I'm a big guy or maybe I'm kind of uh, somebody who like, uh, you know, confrontation or something. No, but I always stick to my right. So he came, he tried actually, he came all the way from the counter. He said, get the hell out of it, sober and I said, what? <laughs> he tried like, he said, he's a little guy. He's trying like, get me out of the shop. I said, you're mad. Don't be like pushing me. So like later when he had like, I wasn't giving it to him like easy. So he backed up. But he said he refused. He said he's not gonna serve me. So I was like, <laughs> I'm not moving out here to serve till whatever, till the, till your manager, till your manager comes. So he rang. So one of the guy, the one he's not, he's just in the counter. He's the butcher. And the guy in the counter was, uh, he's the one that, he's a salesperson basically. <laughs> he's the one that takes the money. So he rang. He came trying to talk to me. He said, no, I don't want to talk to you. You could have told him what he's done is wrong. But I said, I want to speak to the owner because I know the owner. The owner is all right. So I had a brew. The funny thing is I had a brew. I came there, they gave me a brew, you know, they were making a brew. I just had a joke with them. I said, well, you don't, your customer's here. So you don't serve brews for your customers and that's what they made me a brew. So we, we were here, the guy, the owner made me a brew. So we were having a laugh, you know, that day. And then funnily, when I came that following week, so the guy started acting like something else. So the guy, when he came, the owner came and I started talking to me, saying, oh, I need to look at the camera or what happened, this and that. I explained everything. I said, you know what? In fact, I got it on camera. I got it, but then I got my GoPro as well because when it started being funny, so I took my camera. I wasn't, I wasn't intending to filming them or filming that moment, that particular time, but I got my camera out and start filming what's been going on because the guy was getting more and more aggressive on me. And obviously, I know obviously I can defend myself and I can look after myself, even though he got knives and stuff in there, he's a butcher, but obviously I'm not gonna put myself in the risk. But then uh, when the guy came and started asking and he said this and he said, you know, I said, well, customer service, you know, at least you should have a good customer service skill. You can ask the customer, is it all right to serve this person? This is a lady, she needs to go and look after the kids and stuff. One can understand, but somebody says, just come and start speaking your language and you forget about your other customer that is a regular there. <laughs> and then, you don't even notice him so basically the guy came start apologizing said yeah yeah why do why you know and then started giving me discount i said i don't need your discount and all i needed is uh how you doing all i needed is get me my stuff and i'll go that's it so since then i didn't i didn't go back to that shop because obviously why would you why would you patronize your business where about that business don't 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 take a note of you or don't notice you so this is it that's why i don't go that end i go to the other Afro Caribbean shop i go to my west african people anyway even though they don't have all the stuff i need most of their stuff are frozen it's not fresh it's not fresh meat it's all frozen and that but i go there i've been going there the past few weeks few months actually and now I found my mate, Islam. I used to buy stuff of him in that place, but I don't know what happened with his bus. So he kept going and coming, keep leaving and coming. So as we were walking past, I saw him. So I went down. And guys, he does look after us. He does look after me, actually. When I go there, if something is costing like seven pound or whatever, he give me, not that I ask him to give me a discount, but he give me like a fair price. Like, you know, he gave me a good deal. So, where about in those other places, even 50p, they will still charge you for it. Even if it's 20p or 10p, <laughs> you still have to pay for it. I know business is business, but yeah, sometimes you have to look out for like cost your, your regulars. Your regulars, you know, you have to look out for them. 
So guys, here we are. Let's forget about that. Something else. This is a castle. That is the castle. It's quite known here in Blackpool. It's well, well known and popular. That's a castle port, you know. So it's usually busy, but as you see, it's who want to come out here in this weather or in this time? Not many. And that's the casino there. That's a coral. Coral Casino, not that I advise anybody to come and waste your money but to be honest, gambling is it's an addiction, it's a problem gambling is it's a mugs game, you know if you gamble, you're always gonna lose because they already know, it's already it's rigged do not gamble it's a waste of money here's the William Hill I don't mind putting out footballs and that, like football and maybe horses and that. But now to come on these machines and that, don't. You're gonna waste your money. Ooh, typical blackboard. You see? Pissing on the road. See, this is it. This is what I was saying the other day. We need public toilets. You alright, mate? There's no public toilets? It's not public toilets, you could use the public toilets, right? <laughs> On the street. Wow. <laughs> Typical Blackpool, isn't it? <laughs> this is it. If you don't give access to people, not everyone can afford them, not everyone got a chain to go and spend whatever in them toilets there. There should be access on toilets. What happened to the McDonald's? It's boarded up. What's going on? Did they move? Wow, McDonald's. Ooh. What happened? He's been boarded up, man. What happened to the McDonald's? Are they doing the doing the job or what? Wow, wow. Maybe they're doing some work. Maybe. He's been boarded up. The McDonald's in town by Coral Island is boarded up maybe they're doing some uh, 